Hello everyone. Welcome to another episode of Come Learn With Me. Today's article is The Dollar Rules the Financial Universe. China can change that. The financial shocks that keep hitting the dollar haven't shaken its role in the world economy. The reasons matter. The dollar may not be eternal. But it won't be China that knocks it down. The confiscation of Russia's central bank reserves and potential plans to use them to help Ukraine were thought to cut the dollar's attractiveness. The US's increasing reliance on sanctions and weaponizing access to the dollar have escalated the talk of alternatives. The banking failures in the US renewed questions about its susceptibility to destabilizing financial crises. Meanwhile, China's ties with Saudi Arabia have led to speculation of a petroyuan that displaces the petrodollar. There are two ways the dollar could lose its place in the world economy, encroachment, in which another currency supplants the dollar, as the dollar replaced sterling a century ago, or abdication, where the US pursues policies that shrink back from the global role it previously sought. Concerns about China fall into the encroachment camp, but little substance exists. The more significant threat is self-immolation. Those who see the dollar's role as an exorbitant burden, not a privilege, want to abandon it. That would be a type of financial disarmament in the great game of international influence that extends beyond prices and quantities. China may be Saudi Arabia's biggest customer, but there's no sign that Saudi Arabia will price oil in you on. It makes no sense on several levels, including that the Saudi real is pegged to the dollar. When the Federal Reserve changes interest rates, the Saudi Arabia Monetary Authority and several other Middle Eastern countries typically quickly match the move. The Chinese yuan is simply not convertible. It isn't a question of technology but policy. China's foreign exchange rate is closely managed and purposefully opaque. Its capital markets are developing but aren't sufficiently transparent. Including the yuan in the International Monetary Fund special drawing rights in 2015 was supposed to spark growth in yuan reserves, but as of the end of the third quarter of 2022, the yuan's share of international reserves was about 2.75%. The yuan's share of SWIFT transactions briefly rose above 3% early last year, but by February 2023, its share had slumped to about 2.2%. U.S. sanctions have created niche opportunities for unlikely alternatives, including the United Arab Emirates dirham, which India has begun using to pay for Russian oil. India, not China, has emerged as the largest buyer of Russian oil, and New Delhi wants to avoid the yuan, given the rivalry. You can read the whole article. Link in the description. Do like and subscribe to our channel. Check the links in the description to know how we can help your business.